this is just a progress update video because it looks like this project is going to take a few more weeks. I'm trying to make Fang the city from the Raya in the Last Dragon. In the last video, I already made the platform and the seven towers, the middle corridor structure, the fence, and the front gate, but they did not have any details. They were just cardboard cutouts with roofs on top. They had the basic shapes and they vaguely looked like Fang from far. But I need to add details to these buildings if I'm going to do any close-up shots in the future. To go back to why I'm making this city, I need the background images. There are a few locations in Kumandra that I cannot find. Stock images that I could use because the places look too unique. Fang is one of them. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to make the entire city but in a miniature form. It will have just the details required to look like Fang. That's what I'm making. Obviously when you do the close-up they will lack the details required and they will look very cardboardy. So I'm going to make a few more close-up props and then I'm going to layer them on a photo. So there is the front layer, the middle layer, and the photo background. And then once I have all these different images assembled with photos of sky and vegetation, hopefully we will have a background image or a few background images that we could use for the background of our story videos. After this one, we will need to build the dragon temple because we are going to do a temple run in this series and the temple run is only fun if there is an actual temple that we could run on. We need actual traps that we can solve. I think the temple runs are fun because of the mechanical aspect of the puzzles. It would be kind of boring if Raya just says she did the temple run. I think it would be more fun if there is an actual door she has to open and an actual corridor she has to pass and show how these puzzles worked. So we need to get to making that temple. I will explain how I'm going to build the temple when that day comes. So lots of stuff to build for this series. So let's talk about these towers. They are all made with cardboard, so they are not as sturdy. They kind of warp and morph with more painting and gluing, but cardboard is also easy to manipulate. So, I mean, we will have to be okay with not everything being straight. Also, these towers are small. There is a limitation to how small things can get. I can't put all the details into these towers. I can't put a dozen windows on a row into these small towers, so I did simplify things a bit. First, I started with the two towers standing on each side of the front gate. I added a row of arched walls on all four sides, and then a balcony on top, and then another row of columns, and then topped it with another crown. I did that for both towers. Next, I worked on the two middle towers that are standing outside of the fence. I cut out vertically the middle part of the base of the tower and then added extrusions into the tower on all four sides. Then for the top section of the tower, I added staircases that lead up to four arched doors on all sides. And then I added four corner columns and then I added little tiny columns on top of the corner columns. I basically did the same thing for the largest main tower and the two supporting towers beside as well. The next step is the painting. I want the towers to look like they are made of stones or concrete. I think these buildings are made of concrete. I'm not sure if buildings that are made by just stacking stones can go this tall and still hold on to those huge roofs. These buildings are probably concrete buildings. I see tiny rectangular textures on the walls of these buildings, so maybe there are wall claddings of stones? I'm not sure. But anyway, I just wanted to give them some texture to the walls, 
so these towers didn't look too much like papers. I painted the towers completely with light gray first and then dry brushed white acrylic paint on top. I also painted uh, arched the doors black and dotted the top of the little columns with gold paint. I'm going to come back and add more details to these towers but I need to get the other structures done first like the fence and the front gate and then I'm going to come back and add more details like the gold trims along the edges, add more tiny windows on the upper floors and perhaps add a little more details on the roofs. So that sounds like another extra week or two so maybe this is a good place to upload a progress update video and then continue with making the city.